But we begin tonight with an emergency, a crisis, a catastrophe. At least that's what Republican lawmakers have spent the last few months calling the situation at the southern border. One thing is absolutely clear. America is at a breaking point with record levels of illegal immigration. It is an unmitigated disaster, a catastrophe. And what's more tragic is that it's a disaster of the president's own design. The border crisis, which is the top issue across the country. The numbers do not lie. Our country is being invaded right now, right in front of our very eyes, because of Joe Biden's catastrophic border policies. We cannot allow this border crisis to continue. We cannot allow fentanyl to flood across our border, our criminals to waltz in undeterred. This is very clearly an invasion. It is a purposeful one, and it's inflicting dangerous consequences on our country and the people of Texas. Wow. Well, given such alarmist rhetoric, You'd think that these lawmakers would want to act immediately to get this catastrophe under control, right? Well, as of yesterday, they actually had the chance to do that. After months of talk, Senate negotiators finally released a sweeping bipartisan border security deal. The proposed bill would raise the standard to grant asylum, send away those who don't qualify, and expedite cases for those who do. It would also give the president new authority to effectively shut down the border to migrants when attempted crossings are high and end the practice of catch and release, while also providing billions of dollars in funding for Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan, as well as humanitarian assistance for civilians in Gaza. But just hours after the bill was released, leading Republicans in the House said, nope, we don't want it. Almost immediately, House Speaker Mike Johnson, along with Steve Scalise and Elise Stefanik, took to social media to throw cold water on any hopes of even debating the bill. And earlier today, they released a statement putting the final nail in the coffin, writing that any consideration of this Senate bill in its current form is a waste of time. It's dead on arrival in the House. We encourage the Senate to reject it. Instead, the Speaker is proposing a standalone bill providing aid to Israel, completely cutting out the border and aid to Ukraine. So let's just be very clear. The same people who are going on and on and going on these trips to the border to stir up outrage and yell about an immigration crisis were handed the opportunity to help fix the issue on a silver platter, a bill that was negotiated by conservative Republican Senator James Lankford. And this is not some liberal wish list. It's actually the most conservative and aggressive border bill that we've seen in decades. The Democrats and President Biden were willing to bite their tongues and support, despite the fact that it offers no path to citizenship and doesn't even address the dreamers. A bill that the Border Patrol Union, which has been very critical of President Biden, even they endorse it, saying, quote, while not perfect, it is a step in the right direction and is far better than the current status quo. And MAGA Republicans say, nah, we're good. Make it make sense. Because right now, even Senator Langford is calling his party out on their foolishness. Are we as Republicans going to have press conferences and complain the border's bad and then intentionally leave it open? Are we going to just complain about things or are we going to actually address and to change as many things as we can? If we have the shot, and it's amazing to me, if, if I go back two months ago and say we had the shot under a Democrat president to dramatically increase detention beds, deportation flights, lock down the border to be able to change the asylum laws, right. to be able to accelerate the process, no one would have believed it. And now no one actually wants to be able to fix it. But the Republicans' refusal to even consider this bill makes a lot more sense when you see the reaction of the guy who, let's just be real, is calling all the shots here, Donald Trump. Posting on his fake Twitter site, he declared that the ridiculous border bill is nothing more than a highly sophisticated trap for Republicans to assume the blame on what the radical left Democrats have done to our border just in time for our most important election. Don't fall for it. Lots of exclamation points. Never mind the fact that when Trump actually was the president, he never passed a single immigration bill, even when his party controlled the House and the Senate. He never even closed the border, which he keeps saying needs to be closed. But I guess facts don't matter to these people. The only thing that does matter is getting Donald Trump elected. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. They don't want a solution. They want the chaos, because they'd rather run on the problem than give Joe Biden a win in an election year on what voters say is one of the most important issues to them. And don't just take my word for it, take theirs. I think we need to demand, fix it, solve it. And I'll tell you, there's only one way we're going to solve it, 
and that is to throw Joe Biden out of office yeah. to elect Donald Trump in November. Now, why would I help Joe Biden improve his dismal 33 percent when he can fix the border, secure it on his own? This invasion is insane. We need four more years of Donald Trump. Oh, Tim Scott. Bless his heart. Joining me now is Jason Johnson. MSNBC contributor and professor of politics and journalism at Morgan State University and Al Cardenas, former chair of the Florida Republican Party and former senior advisor to Jeb Bush, Jeb Bush's 2016 presidential campaign. Uh, Al, it is good to see you. It's been too long. Uh, thank you so much for coming on today. I do want to start with you. The Republicans have said almost nothing else over the past you know, year, except there's a border crisis. It's urgent. There was a whole convoy that went down there where people went down to go and see the crisis with their own eyes. They're stringing razor wire across the Rio Grande. They're literally saying this is urgent, 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 urgent. Then they get a bill that literally progressive Democrats hate. This is a bill that is so right wing. It's shocking. Biden would sign it, but he will. He'll sign it. There were no Latinos in the room when it was put together. It's literally a right wing bill, a conservative bill. And they're saying, nah, we're just going to impeach Alejandro Mayorkas. That's what they're voting on tomorrow. Your thoughts? Ugh, I am so sick and tired of this. There's probably nothing more significant on the plate in a lot of years in America than this bill. And you're talking about border security. And more importantly, you're talking about national security. Congress is number one function. You've got a crisis in Ukraine and Russia that, if not solved properly, will lead to war all over you. You've got a crisis with Taiwan. You've got a crisis in Israel. You've got money that is necessary now to attend to these. House passed HR2. If you remember that bill passed by a Republican Congress. Hold on one second, Al. Hold on one second, Al. Your, your, your mic is a little bit funny. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you hold on. Let's see if we can fix your audio so people can really hear what you're saying. Because I can kind okay. of understand it, but I think it's important that we actually hear you. So we're going to work on your audio for a minute. Let me go to Jason really quick. Let me show you what uh, Trump has said is his immigration plan, which he, I will note again, Pass when he was president. He says, expand the Muslim ban, end birthright citizenship. Oh, basically get rid of the 14th Amendment, end birthright citizenship of children of undocumented immigrants, ramp up ideological screening, reject applicants deemed a Marxist using their social media, complete the border wall, even though there's water, and I guess you can't build a wall on water, use the Coast Guard, the Navy to form a blockade to stop drug smuggling, extend Texas's floating razor wire barriers to catch up more babies, designate drug cartels as unlawful enemy combatants. Batons, maybe send them to, to Gitmo, uh, and quickly deport migrant gang members. You and I both know, Jason, that the Senate Democrats could literally write all of those things I just wrote into a bill and call it the Donald Trump is the most awesome person to ever hold the presidency bill of 2024. And Mike Johnson wouldn't put that on the floor because then, then they'd, they'd still have right. to say they passed the bill and Biden would get, they're afraid Biden would get the credit. Joy, this is the thing. We've seen this movie before on Netflix. It was called <laughs> Healthcare, right? Yes. I mean, Republicans ran to end Obamacare for years and years, and eight whole years. We're going to get rid of Obamacare. Rand Paul got a plan, and this Paul got a plan. All the Pauls had plans, right? <laughs> and what happens? They get a Republican House, a Republican Senate, and a Republican president, and they still couldn't figure out how to solve health care. So this is no different. None of these people are really interested in solving the problem. And look, Joy, I must, I must admit, compliments to all your producers. The CGI to remove all the puppet strings from Speaker Johnson during that segment was amazing. amazing. Because Donald Trump is basically just now. puppeteering I'm sorry, him he's a real boy and the now. entire Republican... <laughs> He's a real boy now. His wish was granted. That's amazing. It's amazing. So, you know, even if his nose isn't going to grow, we all know the man's lying when he says they actually want to solve the problem. They don't care about Ukraine. They don't really care about what's happening in Israel. And they don't care about what's happening at the border. I think what's important, though, is that Joe Biden and Democrats need to make sure they're screaming about this point. And I'll say this quick, Joy. I don't think most Americans think any party is going to solve the border, right. but you have to look like you want to do something. <laughs> so that's what Joe Biden really needs to do, because Republicans aren't interested. Well, and the thing is, and, and hopefully Al Cardenas will, will come back to us very soon and we can get his mic to work again. But the thing about it is Democrats approach to the border is always based on compassion. Right. How do we get the dreamers to have the opportunity to remain? You know, how do we provide enough workers to keep our agriculture industry going, the cheap labor that they like to have in the agriculture industry? We could have a whole nother segment about that. It is all based on sort of what do we do with the humans? 
Republicans' approach has always just been border security. Just stop all those people from coming here. The end. When Joe Biden says, OK, man, let's just stop all the people from coming in. I, too, personally do not understand why their voters don't say, wait a minute, you don't want to stop the people from coming in? Because that literally catches them out, that them saying that it was always BS. Joy, we've seen this with 90 percent of major Republican cultural issues for going on 30 years now. For every single right wing Republican that was happy about the overturn of Roe, there were hundreds of Republicans <laughs> in state senates throughout the country who were like, what are we going to do if we can't <laughs> run against abortion anymore? That's the problem. They, they don't want these problems solved. You know, what, what the joker say is like I'm a, a dog chasing a car. I wouldn't I wouldn't know what to do if I caught one. Well, now they caught it right now. They've got the whole country worried about the border. And quite frankly, there is there are things things that need to be done at the border. I don't think this bill is a particularly good bill. I think it's too far right. I think the idea of shutting down the border when too many people need to come across is like saying, we're going to stop free lunches if too many kids are hungry. No, that's not how you solve the problem. But at the end of the day, it's a demonstration of the fact that we only have one semi-functional party in this country, which is the Democrats, and the other is basically a cult that's not interested in governing because they haven't come up with governing policy in going on 10 to 15 years now.